Hello, and thank you for joining this short video on finding business value in your financial statements. That is information and analysis that can help drive your success. A little bit of background on this topic. Many business leaders would agree that reviewing their financial statements is really important, but many don't like to do it. They find it a chore or a burden because they're not getting the analysis and the information that really helps them make business decisions. We can improve this, and that's what we want to focus on in this video. Another question that's often asked is, well, how often should we do this? And the answer is it depends on the business. Some businesses are extremely complex and require more extensive review than others. Some businesses should split their financial review meetings into those which are strategic and long-term thinking, where big decisions might be made, and others that are more tactical, perhaps to just check in on the performance of the business. So if we agree that financial review is important, how do we really make it relevant? Well, one of the first things we should do is focus on our business goals. What exactly are we trying to achieve here? If we remind ourselves that our business perhaps is about revenue growth, maybe it's more about profit or bottom line growth, maybe it's more about improving efficiency and more effective use of your resources. Whatever your business goals, the job of the financial review is to tell us whether or not we are on track to achieve those goals. In a business where the owner is managing the business, they may have their own personal goals to consider. Perhaps it's lifestyle goals, working less in the business or working differently in the business. Maybe they're thinking about succession one day, selling the business. Maybe they want to be more involved in their community and have more impact. Whatever the owner's goals, again, the financial statements and the review of the financial statements should help us to understand whether we are on track to achieve those goals. Another thing to consider in any financial review is the future, not just the past. What decisions is management making that will involve some kind of change? Are we going to spend more cash, invest more? Are we going to spend less cash? Are we going to hire key people, launch new products, enter new markets? This should be the framework in which we review financial statements to make that review a very relevant exercise. So what kind of things should you review? Again, it's going to depend on your business. But a good starting point is the year-to-date performance. That could be the calendar year or the fiscal year. And comparing that performance against last year is not a bad idea. Of course, not every year is the same, and there could be fundamental changes in the economy which make last year irrelevant when you consider this year. So also compare against your forecasts or your budget or your business plan. If we identify variances there, it means we should probably drill into those ideas. An important aspect of review is liquidity, how much cash you have. Maybe there will be cash flow holes that you predict where you won't have enough cash, or maybe you have abundant cash, in which case the issue is really how to utilize that cash, maybe through investing in the business or outside the business. Accounts receivable is one thing that's often neglected and it drives your available cash to a large extent. And another unwelcome surprise can be the need to pay tax at some time in the future. So projecting this with a lot of accuracy is important. The key resources in many businesses are the team, the labor force, the human resources. And so maybe we want to focus on what returns we are getting from, from our team. We can look into our compensation plans, and we can also see key employment risks Maybe there's going to be some departing employees. Maybe there could even be conflict or litigation. This is important. In a manufacturer, you might look into other kinds of resources, factories, land, etc. Something that's often neglected in financials is the business valuation, the enterprise value. Are we creating an asset which is growing in value? Are we satisfied with the value? This is something that's important for those that are considering succession. And when we have strategic meetings, it's important to look at the longer term trends. 
what was the business like even three, two, or one year ago, and what important things have been happening, and what do we project is going to happen going forward? If we take this view in our financial review, we will probably get much more out of it. As for the meetings themselves, don't try to do too much. Don't run through a long laundry list and try to understand every aspect of your business. Focus on just a few key items. Have an expert available. Not everyone can interpret financial statements. Your accountant is well-placed to help you do this. And customize your review meetings to suit your business. Management should leave their knowledgeable, excited, and clear on what they're going to do next. Those are some ideas on helping you find business value, decision-making value in your financial statements. We hope that's useful, and we hope you'll come back to our future videos. Thank you.